Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. The program must accept an integer n and print n lines containing integers from 1 to n with some pattern. For each line, that is first line, n integers are enclosed with parentheses. For the second line, n minus 1 integers are enclosed with parentheses. Now for the third line, n minus 2 integers are enclosed with parentheses and so on. Here they have given a note that if there, oh, here every n minus 1 integers and here every n minus 2 integers. If there are no certain integers, present at last, We must enclose the remaining integers with parentheses. Here the program must accept an integer n and print n lines containing integers from 1 to n with some pattern. And in the first line n integers are enclosed with parentheses. And in the second line Every n minus 1 integers are enclosed with parentheses, and in the third line, every n minus 2 integers are enclosed with parentheses. And in they have given a note that if there are no certain integers present at the last, we must enclose the remaining integers with parentheses. Now let's check for our test case. Here n is equal to 5. If n is equal to 5, means in the first row we can see that 5 integers are enclosed within parentheses. So 5. And in the second row we can see 4 integers are enclosed within parentheses. 4. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 here. And in the third row we can see that 3 integers are enclosed within parentheses 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5. And in the fourth row, 2 integers are enclosed within parentheses 1, 2 and 3, 4 and finally 5. And in the fifth row, each integer is enclosed within parentheses, so 1 here. If n is equal to 1 means we have to print that. If num is equal to 1 means we have to print open parentheses and 1. If n is equal to num, that is 5 here, so we have to print 5 and close the parenthesis. Else we have to print the number. If 1 means open and open parenthesis and 1. And 5 which is equal to num means we have to print 5 and close the parenthesis. And we have to check for the condition here. Here n is equal to 5. So phi modulo phi which is equal to equal to 0 but here n is equal to phi so it is not printed in separate parenthesis and here 4 modulo 4 equal to equal to 0 and 4 is not equal to n so an open and closed parenthesis is printed here and for third row, 
here 3 modulo 3 equal to 0 and 3 is not equal to n so after 3 closed and open parenthesis is printed and in the fourth row after 2 and after 4 it is printed and in the fifth row for each number closed and open parenthesis is printed in between now let's check for our another test case here n is equal to 8 here and in the first row there are 8, in eight integers enclosed within parenthesis and in the second row 7 integers are enclosed within parenthesis third row 6 integers fourth row 5 integers fifth row 4 integers and sixth row 3 integers and seventh row 2 integers and finally eighth row each integer now if the number is 1 means we have to print open parenthesis and 1 here and if the num is equal to 8 means we have to print 8 and closed parenthesis here if num is equal to n means and we have to check a condition here 7 modulo 7 equal to equal to 0 but 7 is not equal to n so an closed and open parenthesis is printed here or a space will be printed else let's find the logic here involved in it if num equal to equal to 1 means we have to print open parenthesis and num else if num equal to equal to n means we have to print the num and close parenthesis else we have to print the num if another if condition if num modulo rho equal to equal to 0 and num not equal to n we have to print close and open parenthesis else we have to print a blank space now let's check our logic in code n is equal to int of input now let us loop a for loop for the integers for row in range we are using this for loop in reverse order so it will be easy for us to separate the integers n comma 0 comma minus 1 as 0 is exclusive now we are going to use another for loop for num in range 1 comma n plus 1 and we are going to pass the conditions if num is equal to equal to 1 we have to print open parenthesis plus str of num we are converting num to str because it will be easy for us to concatenate and print and finally we are passing the end argument here elif num equal to equal to n we have to print str of num plus open parenthesis and finally passing the end argument else we have to print the num comma n equal to end argument and we are going to check another condition if num modulo rho equal to equal to 0 and num not equal to n we have to print closed and open parenthesis and finally passing the end argument else print blank space comma end argument after this for loop we are going for a new line so we are going to print a new line here now let's run our code if the input is 5, here is the output. 5 integers are enclosed within parenthesis. And next 4, 3, 2 and 1 here. Let's check for our second test case. Here the input is 8. And finally, here is the output. Our program has passed all the given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.